Whether you're a seasoned professional or just getting started in the restoration industry, there's some equipment that you need, there's technology you need to be aware of, and there's some tools that just need to be on the truck and in the hands of your technicians. With me today, I'm with Tom Rochensky, the National Sales Manager with Protometer, and we're going to talk about some cool stuff at the booth at the Experience Show. So, Tom, thank you for giving up some time today. What do we got here? Thanks, Jeff, for the introduction. Um, we are launching a new meter called our Survey Master. Um, we're going to talk about the differences between our current model and our newest model today. So, as you can see, we have our current model in this hand and our newest model in this hand. The questions we mostly get asked is what's the major differences between the two? So, our current model is a pin and pinless meter only. Um, our newest model, our Survey Master, um, is both pin and pinless, but it adds some functionality and some different changes to it. The biggest change, Jeff, we have with this is that it has Bluetooth technology built into it. So this meter can actually talk to our protometer. Yeah. Can I hold that? Sure. So we can talk to the protometer app. So every reading that we, that we take, we can automatically sync it with the app and we can transfer that data via email um, in an Excel spreadsheet format to a homeowner, to an insurance agent, or back to um, the home office so they can record that data internally. Okay, where's the paper you write this down on? No paper anymore. What? No, no <laughs> paper anymore. Everything's done wirelessly through Bluetooth. With this, uh, with our current model and our newest model, that's the biggest difference right now, is the current model you'd have to record the readings actually physically on the paper. The newest model is live streaming so we can store every picture and every reading right in the app itself. Okay. Is this available now? This is currently available right now, in All stock right. and ready to ship. Okay, so if you're watching this program, Protometer has the product for you, the Survey Master. Are there other products like this in the market? Not at this point. Um, Protometer's been around in this market for about 25 yeah. years, leading um, this industry, um, both in the Americas and globally. Um, so, Jeff, what I w did want to do is just briefly show some of the difference in the functionality between the two meters. Right, I'm curious because you said this is dual. This is dual mode, so it's the same technology, pin and pinless, but now we have the capability of storing our readings through the app. Mm -hmm. um, another change is we have built-in calibration. We do a lot of trade shows and training sessions where we get, how would I know if my meter's in calibration? Now we can do it. We can test each job every day. We can do a test on the pins and the pinless mode for calibration, or every 50 times the meter goes on, it'll automatically calibrate itself. We went from a, um, a oh, nine... and it beeps. And it beeps, okay. so we have an audible alarm. We like a beep. Um, we went from a double, uh, nine volt battery to two double A's. So the double A's are much more readily available. Sure are. And it makes the, um, the lifespan of the batteries about three times what the current model is. Yeah, a nine volt battery in my house will sit there and just age. Correct. You know, use them that often, so. Yep. Um, and another voice to the customer too is we used to secure this with a screw on the back of it. Okay. Now we've eliminated that screw, so people uh, lose the tiny screw screwdriver, and you can't find that anywhere but Protometer. So um, we've listened to the customer on a lot of things when we develop our new products. Okay. Moisture meters like this have not been around forever. Mm -hmm. There was people doing the work before they came out, but now, why? Is it a must to have? Well, it's a must um, by insurance companies. They want to see accurate moisture readings. Um, we have This is just one meter that we're talking about. We have a fleet of meters that mm -hmm. all do all different things from combination meters to just non-invasive to invasive. So we want to measure concrete. We want to measure drywall, hardwood floors, plywood subfloors. So it's important to use a moisture meter on an every job to do that. I'm no expert with mo moisture meters. How do you use them and how easy is it? Yep, so it's easy. The survey master is probably the easiest one that we have. So we really just power it on. Okay, and beep. We, beeps, beep, yep. right. And whatever mode you were in last, so pin mode was the last time this was used. So if you put on my finger, does it do something? Yep, so it should beep when we put it on the finger. And Jeff, I did wash my hands. Finger. I did wash my hands. <laughs> I trust you. So the dual mode part of it is with the pins, we always want to take surface readings of it, be drywall, hardwood floors, plywood subfloors because not all moisture is on the surface or deeper below. So I recommend taking two readings with it, pins for the surface, and then we switch by one button to non-invasive mode. Can I use your hand again? So now ah. we can read about three quarters of an inch below the surface. So now what we've done, we've taken a surface reading to ensure it wasn't just condensation forming, and we're at depth of three quarters of an inch below the surface. So we're taking an average reading of that moisture from the surface all the way down to the three quarters of an inch. Okay. 
Got the stuff, the equipment, technology is fantastic. What does that mean for the job and productivity and getting getting along with insurance companies perhaps? Yeah, well, I think it's, a, it's an added benefit to have the Bluetooth storage in it because like I said, you can take instant readings with the app. You can take a picture of the meter and it'll overlay your moisture readings. Okay. So that can go to an insurance adjuster and say, Mr. Adjuster, this is the readings I'm taking. This is the picture of the wall. You can put the address in there. You can create a job site. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jones's living room. This is the readings we're taking. So in that sense, um, we've eliminated the manual paper and recordings, which can be altered. You okay. know? So this is, you know, the technology that is the industry is moving forward to. Okay. Any other ca uh, capabilities this has or syncing with other tools? Uh, we, where it has Bluetooth in it, we are going to probably be syncing with some other uh, okay. online software That's companies. Coming. Okay. That's coming attractions. Yeah. That's good right news. Now. Yep. Okay. So Protometer is well known in, in the industry. We talked about that. Your tools are great. What's the feedback from, your, from those that use it? We do a lot of trade shows, and I was talking to you earlier, yep. Jeff, about this. Is We get people come by, and they'll pick it up and say, got anything new? And they'll, I'll say, well, we're coming up with something new. And then they'll say, got that, got that, got that. I love your products. So we get that more often than not. From that must make shows. you feel good. It makes us feel great. So we always have to innovate our products, adding Bluetooth, listening to the customer, changing the battery size, changing the back of it, you know, audible alarms, display settings. So what we've added for features, Jeff, is we've added an adjustable display. Mm -hmm. We've added audible alarm and the internal um, calibration for both so the, and the Bluetooth. Those are the major changes in that. Um, and again, it's durable. I'll mention warranty too, because we have the best warranty in the industry. It's a two year warranty. Um, if you're registered on our website, we extend an additional three months. So it's a two year and three month warranty. Okay, a couple extra questions are making me sure. think here. Okay. What, what about um, durability if I drop this thing? I it, don't want to do that. It's but... an expensive instrument and it comes in a nice soft case. Okay, um, okay. But like any instrument, you want to take care of it. You want to make sure all right. you put the cap back on, put it back in its place. So, uh -huh. um, And yeah. not all restoration technicians are seasoned veterans. What's the training like and the learning curve? Sure. So that's a good point, Jeff. Um, I'm available for training throughout the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, we also created, again, we listen to the voice of the customer. Good. So we've also created on our website a resource library. So every meter we have has an um, in-depth video going through the functionality of the meter, just kind of like what I'm explaining to you now. Um, but we also have a blog section. We probably have about 20 or 30 blogs, and they could range from how do I use a moisture meter to I'm getting false positive readings with a moisture meter. We've covered basically every question that we get on a daily basis, and we put it in a blog format. All right. So those watching this, help me out here, is this like that? Yep. So those watching the program probably want to know how to get their own, but... I don't need to know. No. <laughs> we have eyes. This is a camera right there. Uh-oh. So how can we learn more and where can people get their own yep. new survey? So we, sell, we are a manufacturer only, so we don't sell directly to the public. But anywhere you buy um, your dehumidifiers or chemicals or air movers, most likely they have a protobeater line um, in their showcase. All right. You can also, it's also available on, um, through our distribution network um, on Amazon as well. And lots of good information about the product as well, besides what we talked about on your website? Yes, everything. Okay. Our website has been completely redesigned. We actually have an online catalog with a lot of useful information, too, that um, our distributors consented their customers when making a decision on buying a moisture meter. All right. This one might not be here long. We'll see. But, Tom, thank you for your time today. Jeff, I appreciate it. Thank you very much.